This video illustrates the retinal detachment types of eye. For comparison, we are showing a normal eye with its vitreous for easy understanding. Retinal detachment refers to separation of the inner layers of the retina from the underlying retinal pigment epithelium. After the sequential removal of parts of the eye, we can see the vitreous humor shows us the petite canal, anterior vitreous cortex, anterior hyaloid, hyaloid capsular ligaments, retrorental space, annular vitreous attached to the lens, and many more, like fovea, macula, and the optic disc. As you can see, the vitreous is also attached to the optic disc in this. Now, going on to the first type of the retinal detachment types, that is the regmatogenous re retinal detachment. Regmatogenous retinal detachment is the most common type of retinal detachment. It can happen if you have a small tear or break in your retina. When your retina has a tear or break, the gel-like fluid in the center of your eye, called the vitreous, can get behind your retina. The vitreous then pushes away your retina back away from the back of your eye, causing it to detach. As you can visualize, the vitreous is completely detached from the retina and the retina is also torn. The sudden appearance of many floaters or tiny specks that seem to drift through your field of vision are causes of are some causes of regmatogenous retinal detachment first type. Next, going to the second type of regmatogenous retinal detachment. More causes are gradually reduced peripheral vision, a curtain-like shadow over your visual field, or flashes of light in one or both of your eyes, also called photopsia. There is no retinal detachment, but the tear in the retina is also in horseshoe shape, as you can visualize in the 3D model. That's why this type of detachment or this type of tear is called horseshoe tear. Next, going to the tractional retinal detachment. This type of retinal detachment is seen in case of diabetes mellitus. That is proliferation and neovascularization followed by fibrosis of the inner and outer layers of the retina causing tractional force on the retina leading this detachment from the outer choroidal layer. Tractional retinal detachment happens if scar tissue on your retina pulls your retina away from the back of your eye. RTD or retin retinal reta tractional detachment is the separation of neurosensory retina from the underlying retinal pigment epithelium due to the traction resulting from membranes in the vitreous or over the retinal surface. The most common cause of RTD is diabetes mellitus. Exudative retinal detachment. Exudative retinal detachment happens when fluid builds up behind your retina. But there aren't any tears or breaks in your retina. If enough fluid gets trapped behind your retina, it can push your retina away from the back of your eye and causes to detach. Here you can see the detachment can be caused by exudation or neoplasms. Remember one thing. Retinal detachment and retinal tear are very much different.